Karen welcome back to my channel so as you guys can tell by the title of this video today I'm going to be showing you guys four quick and easy hairstyles that are my go-to hairstyles so I decided that I'd show you guys the four hairstyles that I basically wear all the time when I go out if my hair isn't down and straight or down and natural if it isn't one of those two it's in one of these hairstyles this whole video was just me with my hair straight so I kept it very basic I basically have really really thick hair it's also very short I've gone through a lot of process with my hair and I've just been trying to learn which hairstyles work best with my short hair not only do I have short hair but my hair is also really thick and really frizzy so I'm not one of those girls who goes for like those basic like loose cute messy hairstyles because honestly they don't work on me the first hairstyle I did is like the messiest it'll get I'm more of a girl who likes those really slicked back nice and neat and tight hairstyles so that is basically it I really really hope you guys enjoy and let's get started Alright guys, so I'm going to start off by spraying this Garnier Fructis Flatiron Perfector Straightening Mist. And I'm just going to spray this all throughout my hair, kind of as like a heat protectant. And now I'm just going to be separating my hair into layers. I always like to do it like this. I put like, right now I have like 75% of my hair up. I'm filming right now in my bedroom at home because I'm home for the weekend and I don't really have a vanity here. I'm just filming at my dresser. I'm on the last layer guys, I'm just about done. My hair is finished being straightened. This is like my regular part that I have in my hair right now. It is <clears throat> it is a left side part. That's my natural part is to the left. Basically now I'm just going to start by showing you guys the first hairstyle. So the first easy hairstyle that I'm going to be doing is like a little bit of like a half up half down but like a low style of it. I have this comb here. It's not the one I like because it's not that pointy at the end. That one's at school. So guys, this hairstyle is really, really hard to do on camera because it takes me a lot of tries to get it right. So I'm just saying, but um, at least for me because my hair is super thick. But this hairstyle is not supposed to look perfect. It's very like, it's very not, and it's not very neat. It's like kind of messy. But anyways, so I have my hair in my left part because like I said, you want to have your hair in your natural part. So I'm going to start by sectioning off some hair on this side that did not work and then I'm just going to take some from this side as well and pull it over there so now that I have this little um ponytail in the back. I'm just going to be taking my comb and kind of trying to flatten it out as best as possible. So, this is what it looks like right now. I'm not done yet. But anyways, if you guys see, I kind of just pulled out this little piece of hair right here. It kind of just falls out for me because that's like kind of how my natural hair goes. It doesn't really get fully get pulled back. But this is the idea you want to have. You want to pull out a piece in front on this side. And then you want to do the same on the other side. Anyways, so the little pullback thing I have going on is too tight right now. So we want to loosen it up a little. So you pull the hair tie. I like to pull the hair tie back a little. And then I'm going to pull lightly. Look at me. I'm like pulling my hair out of the hair tie to loosen it. If you guys see, it just got looser. Cause after you do that, you just want to kind of like brush down the top. So you could do this with a comb or you could do it with a bristle brush. So I'm just going to use my bristle brush to kind of neaten it out a little bit and flatten it. Like I said, it is supposed to look somewhat messy, but you do want it to look like, not like you just rolled out of bed, you know. But yeah, so this is what the finished hairstyle looks like. It's very messy, like I said, but it's very cute and it's just loose and it's easy and I like it. 
Okay, guys, so now I'm going to be doing the next hairstyle, which is going to be a slicked back, low ponytail in the middle part. I'm going to start off, so I'm just going to take my hair out of this little thing that I had going on. I just go for my nose back, and I just kind of, my hair kind of just falls into it. Like, that's not my natural part. My natural part is my left part, but I do middle parts a lot too, so my hair is kind of trained to know what to do. <laughs> My hair is now in a middle part as you guys can see so the first thing that I'm going to be doing for this hairstyle is I'm going to be taking a little bit of gel and just putting in my hair so I'm just gonna be putting a little bit on my hands and I'm gonna rub my hands together and I'm just going to flatten out the top of my head with this so that when I'm slicking my hair down and back it's already kind of got the idea you know and then I'm going to be taking a bristle brush, just like, and I'm just going to start by flattening the top of my hair with the bristle brush. You want to make sure you're kind of going into, like, the shape as if you're pulling it back, too, because we're going to be pulling it back, so I like to kind of pull it behind my ears. So if you have a big forehead like me, um, a way to kind of, like, cut, pull off this hairstyle is when you're pulling it back, I like to kind of bring some hair to the front to make it look like my hairline starts up further. So, as you guys can see, I'm just going in there like that. I use this mirror. So, I just pulled some of the hair forward. Then, I'm going to be using a little bit more of the hair gel just to get the back because I haven't put enough. Okay, so the back, um,. Where, like, the part ends, you want to make sure that part's flat. So now I'm just going to be pulling it back into the ponytail. So now my hair looks like this. I just tied it back. So as you can see, I don't know if you guys see, there's some frizzies around. So we're just going to fix that up. I'm just going to be using some hairspray. I don't know what this hairspray even is. It's not. It's broken. Okay. I don't know what this hairspray is because it's, it's not even mine because, like I said, I'm not at school right now. I don't have all of my stuff with me. So I just kind of grabbed it from my bathroom. So I'm just going to be spraying this throughout my hair. Okay, there you go. After I spray that in my hair, I'm just going to be smoothing it out again but the next step that i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be taking my eco gel and i'm going to be using a toothbrush to get like the little extra edges down <laughs> And I really, really love this hairstyle. Like, this has been a go-to hairstyle lately. So, I really recommend trying it out. So, for the next hairstyle, I am going to be doing a slicked back high ponytail. So, for a while, I couldn't even get my hair in a high ponytail because the bottom would stick out. But now, I can pretty much get it up. But there are still some pieces in the back that do um, stick out. We're just going to be pulling all the hair back. It's really hard to brush out my hair after using all that gel. And then to get a higher ponytail, I like to flip my hair over like so. doing like slick back like ponytails and things because of cheer these really really tight ponytails but I had to stay up during a routine where I was literally flipping upside down so I just became really good at it and then I'm gonna do my little thing that I do to tighten it everybody probably does that then I'm just gonna go back in with the hairspray you guys can see the problem that I have is I get this little bump because my hair is not really long enough to go up in this high of a ponytail so instead of getting the bump at the bottom because there's probably gonna be a little bump no matter what I do 
the bump is gonna end up coming at the top, but it's gonna be covered by the ponytail. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do for that in a second. I'm gonna be taking a few bobby pins, and I'm gonna be kind of bobby pinning um, the little bumps down. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but my hair is now up in this little slipped <laughs> that's not what we want I don't know why is it oh my god guys I think I made it too hot I have to fix it hold on <laughs> That. I'm just going to be taking my eco gel and I'm just going to be cleaning up all the little edges that I have going on here. I always attempt, but I don't have any baby hair, so there's not really anything I could do. Okay, and this is the finished high ponytail okay guys so that was hairstyle number three so now I'm going to do hairstyle number four all right so for this hairstyle I'm going to be doing a half up half down slick back look remember I do my little eyebrow tip to get a good part so I'm just gonna pull my hair back yeah it's pretty good anyways so for my half up half down I do this hairstyle all the time I'm going to be slicking back my hair just how I normally did in all my other hairstyles. So normally when I do this hairstyle, um, I don't like to do it with my hair straight because I just feel like it always looks too flat. Like, I like to do this hairstyle with some volume in my hair. So I normally will do this hairstyle when my hair is natural. It would, my natural hair honestly would look a lot better because there's still more volume and it just is a lot nicer. But it's okay. But anyways, this was really easy. Basically... Everything I just did is the same thing I would have done for the high ponytail, just half up, half down. I'm just going to do the same thing with my eco gel and the toothbrush, and I'm just going to be fixing my edges and just laying them down a little bit more. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Um, basically, those were all four of my go-to hairstyles. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave comments down below and also hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.